What's going on, socialites? Welcome back to another global Pokemon Society Draft League battle. It's week six, and we're kicking it off with a very high profile match as two 4 and 1 teams, the Paris Saint Germain and the Denver Ninetales, face off here. Definitely some playoff seeding implications as we uh, start the second half of our season. Looking at the teams, PSG actually switching it up for once. They're bringing Rotom, Salamence, Drapion, Claydol, and Magmatar. But Grambo entering the starting lineup for the first time this season. Going up against Denver's team of Latios, Togekiss, Heracross, Swampert, Honchkrow, and Banat. Denver leading off with their Latios. Latios had a huge game last week against Tokyo Togekiss. PSG leading off with Claydol. Now PSG bringing Gramble, giving them that fairy type against the Latios. We'll have to see what they decide to do here. Denver switching out Latios. Going into Banette. So the Stealth Rocks do get up for PSG. Playdoll's going to stay in here. We'll have to see what Banette goes for. Looks like they go for the knockoff. Big damage, but not enough to take out Claydol. And Banette gets frozen on the very first Ice Beam. A huge freeze. Playdoll can now decide to stay in or... Maybe PSG wants to try and take this opportunity to switch out into a setup Pokemon, perhaps. The Banette frozen solid. Playdoll goes for the Earthquake. Good damage onto Banette. Poor Banette just standing there, motionless. Denver's actually going to switch out Banette here. They're going to go into Swamper. Earthquake, chipping away at Swamper with that critical hit. I was gonna say, that did look like a lot of damage. <laughs> right now, PSG doing pretty well. They got their rocks up. Banette is basically dead here. Claydol goes for the Ice Beam. Can they get another freeze? No, but Swamper goes for the Scald and that will knock out Claydol. So Claydol is the first official casualty. Rotom comes out here. Hydro Pump, if it hits, can do uh, some decent damage. Looks like they're going for the Will-O-Wisp, though. Denver switches out into Latios. Latios 
taking some of that rock's damage, and the Will-O-Wisp does connect. Again, Denver has to be cautious of this Gramble in the back. Perhaps a safe play would be clicking Psychic here, going for damage. Highly doubtful that Rotom would stay in here. It is going to be the Gramble player. Let's see what Denver went for. Ooh, they did go for the Draco Meteor, unfortunately, so PSG gets a free switch into Gramble. Gramble, one of the fiercer looking fairy types, and really has a pretty unique niche among fairy types having a good ability and in intimidate physical Pokemon some pretty solid support moves as well we see this one is rocking the Thunder Wave Gramble is gonna go for the play rough and that will knock out Banette finishing off the job that Claydol started Denver's team relatively weak to the fairy type as well. You see three weaknesses and Swampert already about half health here. Now going below half as it takes more rock damage. I will proc its Citrus Berry though. PSG really thinking this one over, just decides to go with another play rough. Swampert with the Earthquake. Doing a decent chunk. Play rough. Doesn't quite look like it'll be a two hit KO. It's pretty close. But it looks like PSG is going to want to swap here into Rotom. Play around another Earthquake. Swampert was also getting pretty close to that uh, Torrent range, which would boost its Scalds. If it comes in next time on some Stealth Rocks, it could fire off a pretty strong Scald. But everything on PSG's team is going to be faster than it. Now Denver's in the think tank. Both these teams really weighing their moves. Denver is going to switch out. Go back into Latios. Latios again getting chipped away by these rocks. Rotom with the Hydro Pump. This will do a nice chunk out of Latios. And with the burn, Latios is just getting a lot of damage.
Proton now figuring that Latios won't go for the Draco Meteor here. Goes for the Psychic. Almost enough to get the KO, but not quite. That'll let Roton get a Volt Switch off. And now that Latios is locked into Psychic, that gives a free opportunity for Drapion to come in. Drapion with the Swords Dance. Knowing that it's going to have a free turn here. Denver has to switch out. I go back into Swamper, but... Thing is now, Drapion has a pretty good speed advantage here, and I don't even know if Latios will be able to come in on these rocks. Let's see, Drapion with the knockoff is gonna be enough to take out Swampert. Across. This isn't going to be able to take much of a poison jab at this range either. With the plus two for Drapion. He's mulling over something. Poison jab knocking out hair across. No, we had two games last night in the minors go to time, and we had another match in the majors that, you know, wh whether you want to say fortunately or unfortunately, we, we don't have um, a recording for, but where all three games went to time. And you see the time between some of these decisions here, like... Like, th th this game won't go to 20 minutes, but you could see in a, uh, you know, different sort of, different game, you know, that taking this long to decide your moves can definitely be a detriment to the timer, or like, you know, and there's not much way to enforce that in the game. We can only really enforce force it afterwards which is pretty awkward um, but it does affect you know a lot of things
Drapion again, just cleaning up these remaining Pokemon. Latios, the last remaining, and I think Latios might just die to the rocks here. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, that looks like just enough. So a very convincing win for PSG. Um, definitely a couple mistakes for Denver. We're going to pause it here and we'll be right back for game two. But I want to talk a little bit more about uh, this timer issue. All right, we're back. The two teams getting ready for game two here. PSG with that dominating win. Five Pokemon remaining. But yeah, kind of just more speed to the timer, so... Uh, I, I like to, you know, maybe I'm just so used to it, but I play at a pretty reasonably high pace of play. Like, I know, like, unless someone throws a complete curveball for something, like, I'm gonna know what I want to do in any situation. You know, that's due to preparation more than anything. Um, I definitely recommend for preparing for games using the tools available to you like Showdown and the Showdown damage calculator like Showdown overall is just really great. As we see Claydol and Swampert as the leads. Claydol getting their rocks up. Swampert's also going to get their rocks up. I mean Claydol's just going to spin those away as much as they can. Bumper with a skull, doing some good damage. Not getting the burn, though. Swamper with another Stealth Rocks. Not sure they understand that as long as Claydol's around, it's just gonna spin those away. The Raining Champ making some questionable decisions in these first couple games here. I think Earthquake is still the better play here from Claydol. Um, from what I remember in my game against PSG, they were running max attack on their Claydol. So even though this is a max defense Swamper, I think it'll still do more. And the Ice Beam really doesn't matter because you're not getting any benefit out of the Freeze because of the uh, Scald being able to thaw. That's actually going to allow Swampert to proc their Citrus Berry, which is kind of nice because that having that proc already really helps them against Drapion. Um, as long as Drapion doesn't get off a uh, Sword Stance, of course, but they need to uh, keep some of their Pokemon healthy or they're going to be in danger of another sweep from Drapion, but Claydol does go down. To those scalds. Salamence comes in. This is a very aggressive Salamence. Um, unless they want to try and Dragon Dance here, but for one, I don't think uh, Earthquake or Outrage would KO Swampert from this range, so it can just Ice Beam to KO back. And two, you still got the Togekiss alive on Denver's side. Um, so what is your Salamence really going to accomplish in this situation? And it looks like Denver is going to send out that Togekiss. 
will take some rocks damage, though. He's switching out Salamence. Gonna go out into Magmatar. Expecting a Dazzling Gleam, perhaps. So Togas goes with a Defog. Wants to get rid of these rocks now. With Clade all gone, that means no more rocks for PSG. Thunderbolt here, but Denver has some pretty safe switch-ins from either Latios or Swampert. And they will go to Swampert, so a couple good plays here, getting Denver back in this. I'm um, really negating the last couple of PSG's turns, and this gives Denver an opportunity to go for uh, Stealth Rocks yet again. She's going to go into Rotom, perhaps expecting an Earthquake. But Swamper just takes his opportunity to get up Rocks. And with Claydol gone, PSG has no way of removing those. Another switch out from Denver, so the, the pace of play of this match is definitely a lot higher. So I'm kind of glad about that. Latios actually dodging that Will O Wisp. Denver has to be cautious what they decide to do with this Latios. Again, if they go for Psychic, that allows Drapion to come in and perhaps set up yet again. If they go Draco Meteor, PSG might go into Gramble here. And the other two attacks, Surf and Ice Beam, um, wouldn't really do anything to Rotom, so... A big decision for PSG there. Depending on what they do, they might lose a Pokemon here. Let's see. Gramble's the play. What did Denver go for? Gramble taking some rocks damage as well. It is the Psychic, so now Denver has to be cautious because this... Ooh, Gramble living on 1 HP, just barely. So they probably don't want to swap it out, but also they might want to try to get a free switch in for Drapion after what it did in game one here. So they are going to swap Gramble out. That leaves Gramble dead to Stealth Rocks the next time it comes in. So Paris has to be cautious about that. Use it for when you want a free switch in against the Pokemon. Let's see what Denver's thinking about this. So it makes me think that they're not going for Psychic here. They want to switch into something else. Yeah, they're taking quite... Yep, they do switch out. I was going to say, they're taking quite a bit of time thinking this over. They're going to go into Honchkrow, actually. So if Gramble had gone for the play rough, they would have picked up a KO here. We see Drapion come in. A 
Let's see, Drapion with the Poison Jab. Ooh, actually, Denver swaps back out again. Going to Swampert. Don't know why they didn't go with that in the first place. I feel like you were making that switch predicting the Drapion, right? You wouldn't be predicting anything else. So... Swampert actually ends up getting poisoned here, which is not the best. Drapion's going to stay in, though. Go for the Earthquake. Not doing much to this max defense Swampert. And here comes an Earthquake on Swampert's end. Huge damage on the Drapion. Swampert, though, does kind of look like it's in range of another Earthquake, but PSG looks like they're going to swap out here. Um, Denver should definitely be going for, like, a Scald in this position. You are in Torrent range. Nope, they go for the Earthquake again. You know, like, your, your opponent has two switch-ins to Earthquake that are just so free. You, you can't be doing that. As we see the uh, poison. Whittling away at Swampert. Rotom's just going to use Thunderbolt in case something was going to switch. Swampert now with the Torrent Boosted Skull. Could have at least tried to get a couple of those off on the Rotom. There is the burn. So that will negate Rotom's leftovers. Swampert does end up going down, though, to the poison, which is really uh, all because of that kind of poor switching for Denver. Um, again, if you expect... Either way, if you expect him to switch into Drapion, you should go into Swampert, and if you expect him to stay in, why would you switch into Honchcrow? Unless you were just planning on sacrificing it, which isn't the worst play ever, but... I feel like you, you can do better. Now Denver should know that Gramble's gonna just die to the next time it comes in on Stealth Rock, so they're just gonna go straight for a Draco Meteor, and this should pick up the KO on the Rotom. Now Gramble out of the way, Draco Meteor is just so free. Drapion comes back out. Adios most likely is going to just try to get another Draco off here. Drapion does avoid it, though. And here comes a knockoff, which does take out Latios. So, a pretty lucky dodge for Drapion. It will pick up that KO on Latios. So, PSG kind of getting back in this. Again, Gramble basically dead. Drapion really low, but... If they can get rid of this Togekiss, it will allow Salamence now to clean up the rest of this game. Denver goes out into Honchkrow.
Punch Girl with the Night Slash. Not sure why that over Brave Bird. I feel like at this point you could probably Brave Bird sweep. Peachy's gonna go in a Gramble. I don't think they uh, recalled that the Stealth Rocks were up. That's a missed opportunity there. Magmatar might not take this Night Slash either. And Night Slash does 78 to 93% on Magmatar, so this. Should just be a Night Slash sweep here. Not sure what Denver's thinking of. Are they thinking of switching out? They do switch out. Uh, missed opportunity here. Going into Banette. Thunderbolt doing some big damage. Magmatar's Thunderbolt does get disabled, though, by the Cursed Body. So Denver just giving PSG some free kills here. Magmatar's Flamethrower will finish off Banette. Honchkrow comes back out. Should have never left, but it comes back out. Brave Bird finishes off Magmatar. That's going to leave just Salamence, but Denver having the Togekiss. Now they could just Brave Bird Salamence here. Brave, Brave Bird is a KO. But I feel like Denver's going to switch out to Togekiss anyway. Just Make us waste a few more seconds here. Again, Honchkrow Hon could have gone another KO. Gets the burn on Togekiss, but just not doing enough damage as the Dazzling Gleam finishes off Salamence, and Denver evens the score back up. One game apiece. We'll be right back getting ready for game three here. Now we'll have to see... What these two teams decide to do. Den Denver played pretty well at the beginning of that second game. Um, I do think they definitely threw away Banette there at the end for no reason. Um, Honchkrow could have easily picked up that KO on Magmatar and then you could have swapped into Toakiss, but.
the, the reigning champ with some questionable plays so far. We'll have to see if PSG can take advantage of that here in the last game of this series. PSG leading off with Den, uh, with uh, Gramble against Denver's Bennett. Bennett with the gunk shot revealing their anti-Gramble tech, almost enough for the KO. That Intimidate did allow Gramble live, but the poison. And Gramble misses the play rough. So just like that, Gramble goes down, and that is going to open up Latios in a big way this game. Drapion comes out. Denver's gonna switch out, return, but Nets sending out Swamper. Swamper hit with the knockoff. PSG gonna send out Salamence. Swamper does get up to Stealth Rocks. I feel like in PSG's position, you, you gotta double out into something like Drapion again. Um, because the to the toga kiss is coming, right? Is she really thinking this one over? They're actually gonna go with the earthquake. Which is going to allow the free switch in for Toad Kiss. That's going to mean Salamence has to retreat, sending Clade all back out. Focus with the Dazzling Gleam. Doing some nice damage on the Claydol with that crit. Claydol, think about the Ice Beam, perhaps? Well, I feel like you want to rapid spin these rocks away, right? They are going to go with the Ice Beam, though. Focus with the Air Slash. Ooh, flinches Claydol, that's huge. Tokus finishing off Claydol with another air slash. Magmatar is gonna come out now. But now these rocks are up to stay, and that's going to really hurt Magmatar and 
Salomon's trying to come in. Rotom wanting to pivot around. I'm gonna start chipping away. Swap out Togekiss yet again. Going back out in the Swampert. I feel like Latios is such a free switch on this Magmatar too. You see all of its moves, none of them are effective against Latios. Denver continues to click that Earthquake for no reason when Scald would be 9 out of 10 times better. I I might have to delete that off of their Swamper set if they continue to play so freaking poorly again and again. That's like the fourth time that they've done that. You, Your opponent forms patterns that, that you see that you got to take advantage of. Gladios yet again dodging the Will O Wisp. PSG knows at this point that none of their Pokemon are going to be able to take these Draco Meteors. So they decide to sacrifice Rotom. Actually, I'm going to Magmatar. Maybe predicting Latios to switch out here, but if I was Latios, I would just be dropping another Draco. That's exactly what Latios does. This should be enough to pick up the KO. As they do take out Magmatar. That leaves just Drapion and Salamence remaining. Denver can swap out Sacrifice Sun and then Latios could actually get a... Uh, Double KO with back-to-back -back Dracos. There's the knockoff. Not doing much to Honcho, but now the Choice Scarf is off. Getting some damage off with the Brave Bird, but will knock itself out.
Remember now, just looking to wrap this up. PSG's final Pokemon Salamence. But Denver should switch into Toekiss here. And that should basically wrap this up. And wow, based on game one, you you'd think PSG had Denver's number. Just such a Crushing game one, Denver coming back strong in game two, but they kind of faltered towards the end there of this end game despite winning it. But the early knockout gramble really opened up things for Latios and therefore uh, Denver's whole team, as we see Tokus here, getting the final KO. So with that, Denver wins the set against PSG two games to one. They move up to five and one. PSG getting their second loss in a row, going down to 4-2. and two. So very interesting stuff there. Uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts on that were. Make sure to leave the video a like. Make sure to leave a comment. Uh, do you think either of these teams have what it takes to make a run for the championship? as we're closing out on the regular season. I mean, what, what are your thoughts? PSG finally bringing another Pokemon in Gramble. Who's a Gramble fan? Give a big shout out to Gramble. It definitely did its best, I think, in this matchup. The Gunk Shaw is not something that you think about when you think about Bennett. That is for sure. As always, thanks again for watching Socialites, and stay classy.